I'm Doug Bauer. I'm Director of Human Resources here at Horizon Technology. This feels, no, that feels weak already. It does. I'm Doug. Oh, Merrick. This is a bunch of crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Zoom in on that right there. Can you tell? He's HR. <laughs> yeah. You're I'm wrong. joking. <laughs> so, you're the one who started all this. How'd you even come up with the idea? It was really came out of that whole idea, that whole dream of, or that whole vision of trying to expand the use of powdered metal, finding solutions for our customers that they didn't have available today. We talk about people, and sometimes it sounds cliche. Throughout our entire history, every time we were faced with a challenge, the right person came through the door with, the, with, with a vision and, and ideas about technologies that can support these types of changes. Even with our automation, mm -hmm. we've done so much with automation and never once did we sit here saying, let's do this so we can eliminate six people. <laughs> yeah, right. We didn't do that. We yeah. did that so that those people could do something a little more exciting rather than sitting there picking parts and let's have it to where they don't need to stand there. Let's automate that. But we don't want you to lose your job over this. Mm -hmm. We want you to now do bigger and better things at the company mm -hmm. because we can't just have average people. <laughs> Right. That's you can't get into the markets that you're talking about. We can't get to uh, the cutting edge mm -hmm. or be in front if we're just average. There's a lot of change going on in our industry and there's a lot of questions about what will the future be. We've been able to really begin investing in a lot of new technologies. You know, when you take a look at some of the materials that we've been working on and processes that we're working on today, really to try to position ourselves for what that market is going to be in the future. You hear a lot about you know, soft magnetic composites. And maybe it was a material that existed before the market needed it. Okay. And yeah. I think what's exciting about today is the changes that we're seeing in the marketplace, um, it's creating a want for these types of materials. And you look at how that, that kind of technology and where it can go. You know, today, we're working with alloys and, and, and such that we hadn't ever been able to work with in the past. And now, when you look at some of the results that we're seeing, the strengths that we're able to achieve, um, that can far exceed even anything that you see today, like in our standard 35, that's exciting. And those are things that we're now able to offer a customer today that have never been able to be offered in the past. And because, you know, part of what, what you're saying, uh, with the development of materials, with our centering development and reaching levels, I'll call it, mm -hmm. that were thought to not be attainable. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, we're in the process of exploring a purchase of another compacting press. And we already know yeah. it might not exist in the market. <laughs> right. <laughs> what yeah. we need yeah. to do this, but we know they can make it. Right. We're in conversations with manufacturers to say, this is what we need right. to help because of all the technology we've advanced in. Mm -hmm. We need that to be able to compact a certain way. And some of that's not available in the market today. So Doug, you know, you look around and you see we do powdered metal differently. Yeah. We wanted to offer a technology that other powdered metal companies uh, didn't do. And we also wanted to get into markets and areas where powdered metal didn't exist. We did things that other startups didn't do in order to do powdered metal differently push the limits. And that's what I think of when I think we do it differently. When I look mm -hmm. at what they're doing, they aren't necessarily pushing the envelope for technology. They aren't looking for a new market. Uh, they aren't developing relationships with suppliers. They're making parts that generally the powder metal industry has been in quite some time. That's what I think of when yeah. we say we do it differently. That's beautiful. <laughs>